Good morning to this premiere. Good morning to this first conference, Werkstatt der Zukunft, the new European Bauhaus, at this first Frankfurt Fashion Week. This digital event is the start of a new movement, initiated by the president of the Com European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, after a crisis that forced us all to reflect, this is a major result of many reflections on our industry. If we speak about sustainability today, we are not only talking about environmental impact, but sustainability as a healthy system through the complete supply chain. This conference will give an example of how the fashion industry can come together across borders to discuss and implement lasting sustainable changes. Therefore, we will get input from almost 90 experts from 19 different nations. We are here to facilitate the exchange of knowledge on our way to a better tomorrow. I know it sounds a bit excessive, but just as the Bauhaus movement did 100 years ago, new thinking comes from breaking silos. My name is Bianca Langbogner. I'm the editor-in-chief of S, the style supplement of Der Spiegel. And together with my colleague Philip here from Der Spiegel, I will guide you through this day. This conference will be held in English and is followed by two illustrators who record the contents of the day in drawing. I hope you will find plenty of inspiration in our panels and figure out lots of chances that lie within this project. But what exactly does that mean, the new European Bauhaus, Philip? The Bauhaus was founded on four pillars. Arts, craft, education and technology. So today we will be hearing from experts of all these fields. But before we start, first some introductions. We'll hear from Peter Feldmann, Lord Mayor of the city of Frankfurt, Detlef Braun, CEO of the Messe Frankfurt, Mandy, Bime Mandy Bienek, Chairwoman of the Fashion Council Germany, and Anita Tillmann, CEO of the Premium Group. Ladies and gentlemen, dear Anita Tillmann, who really shows a lot of commitment that we do with the Fashion Week in Frankfurt, dear Mandy Bienek, dear Detlef Brown, as the one responsible for Messe Frankfurt. For me, it's a really particular event. It's about fashion, it's about Frankfurt as the fashion city of the future and the combination of this movement for fashion with some ideas and new content. It's nothing less than saving our planet, climate change, sustainability. And we also say fashion from Frankfurt. This is sustainability. This is political responsibility. And it is a subject that is important for all of us humans, but it will challenge industry as well. The Fashion Week is sustainability. The challenge is to set impulses, to position ourselves very clearly for ecologically developed products, for ecologically developed fabric, for less consumption of water, and also for social conditions and consequences that the textile industry and fashion industry of the past produced, that is child labor. Here, we want to set a very clear sign that we don't want that any longer. Back in the 20s, under the term Bauhaus, something happened which was 
a mood of awakening into modernity. It made clear that people in that city take that holistic approach. They think holistically. They see things together from different angles, from different sectors, in architecture, in society, in living together, in a different role of genders, men and women. And even at that time, they knew in Frankfurt that there was something like the new Frankfurt, and they wanted to organize human encounters and life more holistically, differently. The new Frankfurt was its construction site, and the new European Bauhaus movement had the task and the goal to position itself in the framework of the Green Deal. And I'm so happy that Mrs. von der Leyen really honors us with her visit. She was here already last week. I accompanied her when she entered her name in the Golden Book of the city of Frankfurt. Now she is connected virtually to us today, and she's very close to Frankfurt and this event. It's about the big subjects, the big subjects of sustainability, the goals of the United Nations, the so-called SDGs that will be dealt with tomorrow and explained in detail. It is our task, and this is our Frankfurt homework, to involve the people, the crafts and trades people, the goldsmiths, the jewelry makers, the leather makers, the pop-up store movement, the hairdressers that make fashion as well. They all will be there. They want to be there, despite the difficult framework conditions. We know about all that. It's about a symbiosis between people and modernity and sustainability. It should be sustainability. And ladies and gentlemen, it's just about the future of fashion. It's a movement. And what's nice about it, it's sustainable. Hello, everyone. Today, we have the opportunity to enrich the fashion scene by introducing an international fashion-oriented community from all over the world with the infinity for digitalization and sustainability. This is more than just the sum of all the individual parts. It's one world. Welcome to Frankfurt Fashion Week. Fashion Council Germany's recent study has shown how relevant and important the German market is. Germany is the largest consumer market within the EU. We are innovation experts and leading in sustainable solutions. The transformation that we are all facing requires us to rethink if and how the concept have proven themselves and which one needs to be reconsidered. Frankfurt Fashion Week puts fashion, design, sustainability and technology, giving rise to the unexpected cooperations and showing what is already possible today. As a founding member of the Fashion Council of Germany, it fills me with a special joy how far this young organization has come in designing and organizing not just only today's new conference format, but also being on the utmost front of supporting the fashion ecosystem. It's incredible new talents and tackling the importance of creating a better future together. This conference is hopefully only the beginning of a series of new formats where the importance of creativity will be shown. Well done. The FCG, Fashion Council Germany, have taken the chance in creating an amazing lineup to ensure the best possible discussions of fashion's long needed changes to create a more sustainable and technologi technologi technological future. This conference is a perfect new puzzle to our new Frankfurt Fashion Week vision of how Frankfurt Fashion, uh, Fashion Week should be in future and more to expect in 2022. Enjoy this wonderful day and start off this uh, super good format. Thanks to everyone. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, Anita. Good morning, Mandy, Lord Mayor. It's a pleasure to welcome you on behalf of Frankfurt Fashion Week to this outstanding conference. Thank you for joining us and hopefully you will gonna stay the whole day. And hopefully, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna see us next time, real life and in 3D. Because this for us is not a nine day wonder. This is a movement and today it's just beginning. 
The new European Bauhaus will be the driving force to bring the European Green Deal to life in an attractive, innovative and very much human-centered way. It will be a movement which is based on sustainability, inclusiveness and aesthetics to bring the European deal closer to the people where it belongs. Everyone should be able to feel, see and experience the green transformation. It is all about cross-collaboration, co-creation and experimentation. This is where the natural fit hits the ground. The Frankfurt Fashion Week is not just a fashion week. It's a totally new ecosystem. And the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. It's all about collaboration, cooperation, and yes, as I already mentioned, co-creation. This is why the new European Bauhaus Werkstatt der Zukunft, started by our partner, the German, the Fashion Council of Germany. Thank you again, Mandy. Thank you, Dr. Ela, for this wonderful cooperation. This is a perfect fit, and it stands out as one of the three blockbuster conferences during the digital Frankfurt Fashion Week. The Frankfurt Fashion Week, as I mentioned, is an ecosystem intended to bring and to bridge between the world of textile, fashion, technology, and the world of consumers. It is reforming the future and driving the so much needed green transformation in one of the most dirty industries. And the challenges, as we all know, they are huge. New ways, new solutions, and new inspirations are paving the way. This conference is a lineup with fantastic speakers who gives us a taste of this new movement. Together with the Frankfurt SDG Summit and the Fashion Sustain Conference, it has the potential to unfold and impact the perfect match to the spirit of the new European Bauhaus movement. With an impact, ladies and gentlemen, it goes much beyond today and this goes much further than this conference today. I would like to quite quote the European EC President Ursula von der Leyen. She said that sustainable construction was not just an environmental or economic project, but a cultural project for Europe. So, ladies and gentlemen, be it. Dear Mrs. von der Leyen, we are very much proud to be part of it with the Frankfurt Fashion Week and the new European Bauhaus Werkstatt der Zukunft Conference. And we are all looking very much forward, Anita, Mandy, myself, to a very close future collaboration together with you. Thank you. Thank you, Detlef. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and a warm welcome on behalf of the Fashion Council Germany to our first edition of the new European Bauhaus Werkstatt der Zukunft, a conference which is intended to do one thing above all, unite us and create change. But first of all, I would like to thank our great partners, the City of Frankfurt, Messe Frankfurt and the Premium Exhibition, without whom the event wouldn't have been possible. So thank you very much from our side. I would also like to mention a few special people who are the driving forces behind the event and who have put so much effort and countless hours over the last weeks to get this event off the ground. And I'm starting with Dr. Christian Ila. He's also a member of our advisory board. Then our president, Christiane Arp, my appreciated board colleague, Marie-Louise Berg, and above all, our executive director, Scott Lipinski, and our amazing team. Many thanks to all of you. More courage to change. This is not just a claim, it's a mission. And coming out of the COVID-19 pandemic offers a huge opportunity to change the industry. Right now, we are at a crossroad and obviously there's only one direction to go if we want to be part of the solution and not be part of the problem. And I think you all agree if I say that fashion should not cost our planet. So we need to transform into a future-proof system that is respectful and responsible to all living beings and the environment. 
We need a system which interconnects all disciplines, in which is sustainability not just a word, and in which profit and growth are not only the keys of success. We need a future-proof system which is driven by consciousness and collaborations. And with this vision in mind, it is really important for us that this format is not just a conference, but that we do better and get into action. And as the youngest among the fashion councils, the conference, of course, is an incredible milestone for us. But it, it's also a part of our mission and responsibility to actively drive change. So, we are really excited because in the next eight hours we are going to bring a crazy amount of experts and specialists uh, together. And many thanks to everyone and each of you for joining us from politics, design, technology, business, art and science. And we also give many European councils and organizations a voice. So, we hope you all feel inspired and energized by beautiful conversations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the amazing woman behind the, European, the new European Bauhaus, uh, the, the president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen. Thank you.